Peng Shuai retracts sexual assault claims as fears over well-being persist. Here's a summary of the article. Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai has denied that she had accused a former senior official of having sexually assaulted her, in what is believed to be the first foreign press interview since her November essay caused a media storm. The claim apparently contradicted a 2 November social media post, in which Peng accused the former vice premier Zhang Jiali of having coerced her into sex. Peng's interview with Singapore's Leon He Xiaobao, a Chinese-language publication under the state-controlled Singapore Press Holdings Limited, came as fresh footage of Peng emerged online on Sunday. Qingqing Chen, a senior journalist at the state-owned Global Times, posted a seven-second video clip of Peng on her Twitter account. On the same day as Chen's video clip in the Singaporean newspaper interview emerged, Ding Li, who claims to be Peng's friend, also posted a series of photos of the tennis player in Shanghai. In one of the photos, Ding, Yao, Peng and two other Chinese athletes, the Olympic sailing champion Xu Lijia and the retired table tennis player Wang Likin, are seen standing next to a banner for the Fist Cross Country Skiing China City Tour, with Shanghai's Yangpu Bridge in the background. Chinese diplomats condemned unnamed people of malicious hyping of the Peng saga. This post received a score of 6,500, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Her actual words are important here. She does refer to the Weibo post, meaning she does not claim that she never wrote it, just that it was misinterpreted. She also says she didn't accuse anyone of sexually assaulting her which is true if you've actually read the Weibo post. She did however accuse the former high-ranking CCP official of relentlessly begging her for sex one time, sexual coercion, and of cheating on his wife with her for several years afterwards. Those are quite severe accusations. The fact that a lot of reporters cannot read Chinese doesn't help a lot. Word choice on sensitive topics being translated across language and cultural barriers is tricky. It could definitely distort the message she originally intended to convey. Especially if people focus on one or two sentences from a very lengthy post. The overall picture is that what she was most angry about was not this incident, but her status as a secret concubine in general. The guy is obviously a soft talker and she felt betrayed by him lulling her into restarting their relationship while forcing her to keep everything secret and forcing her to accept that he will not divorce his wife for her. And the society is harmonious again. Five star reviews all around. It's all a giant misunderstanding. Peng Shui was unfortunately stuck in washing machine and CCP had to help her out. What are you doing, step chairman? Haha he said the step thing. This is nasty BTW. China again. Nothing happened. They are being rewarded with an Olympics. Boycott the Olympics. Greater than, I wanted to make this very clear. I have never claimed, or written about anyone having sexually assaulted me, Peng said. It's true that she never accused the official of sexual assault. In the Weibo post she had made it clear that she had agreed to sexual intercourse. That is considered sexual coercion, which falls under rape. Finally someone with a brain. She's in danger. Her family is in danger. Her friends are in danger. The entire tennis program personnel are in danger. She has a gun not only to her head but every other head she ever cared about. China needs to be shut out of tennis entirely. And fuck the Olympics. They are totally not worth a bucket of piss. Yeah this whole thing has somehow made China look even worse. An old tactic by dictatorship ragtimes. You say what we want to hear. Hello my baby. Hello my darling. Hello my ragtime dictatorship. White cane frog top hat. Sure thing we totally believe this. Have you read the original post in Chinese? Because it never claimed sexual assault. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.